Hello everyone, I'm Ryan from DL Academy and in today's video we're going to be continuing our Python online bot for gaining Instagram likes and follows. Alright, so make sure you check out our Python course for beginners before uh, following this tutorial. You'll, uh, you'll find it on Udemy, we have links in the video description. So um, let's get back to our uh, program. All right, so we go to this Instagram page, and as you can see, we printed the entire HTML um, here on the console uh, on the console log, and we can simply just copy all of this. Let's copy all of it right here, and let's open a new file and simply paste it. Now we know we know uh, by taking a look at this. Uh, at this Instagram page that we have uh, 249k followers so let's just type in uh, or press control F and 249k all right and there we go this right here this bit of code bit of HTML uh, is what we're looking for Um, as you can see, this is attached to, uh, this has a class, class which is G47SY. So we can use that to, uh, in our code to retrieve this information. Uh, so it will create a variable called follow or followers equal, uh, use our beautiful soup object, SFLW dot find find all uh, we're looking for a span as you can see this is a span right here span um, and inside the span we have a class so we type in you open the brackets uh, the curly brackets class column and then g47 s y which is the name of the class so uh, this returns a list but um, since there's only one element to that list so we we'll select the first element which is element zero uh, if you're not sure why you can always go and follow our Python course uh, for more details you can always go check out our Python course to learn all of the details so we're gonna type in followers select um, followers element zero dot get text which will uh, simply return the text and let's print it and see what it looks like all right so we'll print it and run it Okay, so it returned 394, and if we take a look, this is uh, this number right here. So this means that uh, this returned an array, and most likely it returned an array of these three um, uh, of these three numbers right here. So if we want to access the second element, we simply have to type in the index, the first index, and since it's going to return. Um, for example, if we have 1,294 followers, or like, for example, if we had 1,200 followers, it would actually return uh, with a comma, so 1.200, and we don't want that. So since this is a string, we can always do string manipulation as taught inside our Python course. Replace, like this, replace uh, the commas by empty, um, brackets empty em empty quote nah, by empty quotes so now we can print F once again run it okay so now we got the correct 
answer 249k so we just have to do a simple of uh, simple um, fixes now all we have to do is we just have to do a simple fixes for example each time we find k uh, this means we multiply by a thousand each time we find M capital M we multiply by 10 to the power of 6 and if the number is below that then we just keep it as it is so let's do it right now we're gonna say if K uh, in F so if we find a K inside our variable we're sim simply gonna say F equals F open the brackets colon minus one so this will simply uh, return everything except the last uh, the last uh, string character and then we're gonna say uh, we want to cast this to a float so add parentheses convert it to a float and multiply by 10 to the power of three now uh, let's return return f so the function get uh, num flw will simply return our f variable if we find uh, on the other hand m in f this means the account has more than a million followers we're simply going to return uh, we're, we're going to do the same thing f equals the float of f and then simply everything uh, uh, except the last digit times uh, and not everything is explained uh, within our python course if you don't understand just go check it out uh, you'll be master programmers in no time so let's return f and yeah We can also do else if so else if so if this otherwise if this um, just make it a little bit more professional and then if uh, none of these are true we'll just type in else so if this is not true this is not true otherwise if we don't find K and we don't find M we just want to return uh, the float of F all right so we convert it to a float and return that value now what we can do here is simply um, remove the print statement and uh, just print it here print the value of um, our function now let's try and run it Okay, so it scrolled down once and it returned the actual number of followers, which is uh, 249,000. All right, so this works. Uh, in the next video, we're going to be scrolling down more until we reach all of the followers. Uh, we're not going to be using this account because it has too many followers, but we're going to be using a smaller account uh, for testing. Um, so that's it for this video. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one.